Look at that, the sun is almost completely above the horizon today already. Let's go see how the truck is doing, how she slept. Excuse me, the mistress. Wake her up, get her ready for the day. She's over here in the back. I didn't park in the mud over there because it's supposed to get a little bit warm today, but I think my spot's gonna get a little muddy anyways. I parked over here on the left. Right there, the far one. Oh boy, I really don't wanna park in this mud. But here we are. It's all hard right now. Ugh. Four wheel drive, just about. <laughs> Good thing we got a Chevy. Uh. Ford and Dodge are good trucks too, don't worry. And I don't know anything about Nissan trucks or Toyota trucks, so I'm sure they're good trucks too. And since they're like Toyota and Nissan, I'm sure they hold their value, right? So there's something good we can say about the competition there. I don't know anything about them. All I know are Chevy, Ford, and Dodge. Those are the only trucks that sort of exist within my brain but I know there are others out there so anyways speaking of trucks here's the mistress you know what I'd love to do I'd love to have a little decal one day or sorry decal for my American friends decal uh, for like on the hood there <laughs> once it gets all shined up right now like a nice little ah, I don't know, they probably won't let me do that though that's okay <laughs> But hey, there's a saying, there's an old saying that goes, you have not because you ask not. What's the harm in asking? What's the worst they could say? No? They'll probably say no, but wouldn't that be cool though? Oh, well, maybe they'll say, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go get her started up. Look at that mud down there. Eh? That wasn't from me. It was uh, pretty cold yesterday when I parked it here and it was all hard already, but all right, I'm gonna go check the oil, do all that fun stuff. Uh, get her started, it's Friday. It's been a long week, but it went by quickly. It's been a long week, but it went by quickly. Does that make sense? It goes by quick when you enjoy what you're doing. Curtains, right? Or they're they're a tough fabric. They're not exactly curtains. We call them curtains. 
of better, but you can roll them all the way to the front or to the back, I think. Or you can roll them open, right? So that you just got an open deck, then you can load it from the side like a flatbed. But instead of actually like putting a tarp over your freight after that, spending an hour tarping and strapping, or just tarping, you just roll the curtains over it and it's covered. Very convenient. I wish we had these when I was on flatbeds. When I hauled that glass, these would have been great for that. What? It's cold. Four weeks ago, I would have said this was a nice, warm, sunny day. Today, my body's already gotten used to the warmer weather. It's cold. because I noticed something. My truck is not building air. And that little annoying bell is sounding. You hear that? That's not good. So I pulled in here before my truck ran out of air on the road, thank God. And I came to check under the hood here. It's a little bit loud because the engine's running, but take a look at what I found. The hose popped off the air compressor. Luckily, it's a threaded design. That is thinking, whoever designed that. So hopefully here, where can I put you? I'm gonna put you, I'll just put you here for now, okay? If I can set you down, okay? There. Hopefully I'll be able to just thread this, thread this on here, tighten it up. And we'll be off to the races. I'll report it to the shop so that when I get back, they can double check it. But why would that have come off? Must have just rattled off over time or maybe when it was in the shop, they forgot to tighten it properly. I don't know. Why would they have taken that off though, right? I'm sure it's just came off on its own. So I'm threading it on right now. I'm gonna tighten it as tight as I can. I think that's good. Uh, I'm gonna get my tools out and uh, tighten her up there a little bit more so you can see now it is connected on there and it should build air. I'm just going to, uh, where did I put my little tools? Did I put it inside already? I don't have a whole set of uh, wrenches with me, but I do have, uh, oh, what are they doing on the ground? Getting all wet. Okay, I'm gonna have to dry those off now. The best I can do, tighten it up as tight as I can. And then uh, with the shop, and I'll have to take a look at that when I get back. Let's see if this works and get me rolling. All right, Let's start her up. Let's see if this will do it. The high idle right away. Looks like she's filling up. Those red lights should go off right away. And the dinging should stop. If the dinging stops, that means it worked and I fixed it. Okay, it's gonna fill the secondary tank first and then it'll fill the first tank. But it's gonna keep dinging until that first tank 
is all the way full. I see what you're doing, picking favorites. It's not very nice. It's not very nice. Okay, there we go. Now the first one's going up. And wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Trucker Josh saves the day. Fixes his own trucks. Who needs mechanics? Fix my own truck. Just kidding, just kidding. Don't get mad at me, mechanics. I still need you. Yep, that's nice and sealed. There's no air leaking. Oh, I'm feeling very useful and good at things right now. Let's go get our freight. Right on, see? Now they don't have to send a service truck all the way up here to Arburg and spend 500 bucks just for them to come here and screw a little pipe onto a, or a little hose onto the air compressor. Can you imagine if I would have called that in? They would have had to spend at least probably 200, 300 bucks just for the service guy to come here. And then he would have gotten here and he would have looked at it and been like, doot, 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 doot. done. Taking another 150 bucks for his time. And we would have been out like 400, 500 bucks. You don't always want to try fixing the truck if it's something big, bring it to the mechanics. But if it's just a, a screw, oh, come on. <laughs> I can do that, okay? I may not be a mechanic, but I can I can work a screw, okay? Now I gotta dry my tool off. It fell in the snow. I don't want you to get all rusty. Ah! It's one of my multi tools I got for Christmas once. It's all wet, <sighs> full of snow. It's gonna get rusty if I don't take care of it. Okay, so I wasn't able to film any of the loading process. So I'm gonna show you how these curtain sides work another day. Okay, guys? Uh, I'll, sh I'll tell you right now though, they unhook from the front here or the back and you can roll them from side to side. For this load here, I loaded on the front. So I unhooked, first of all, I released the tension at the back. Then I unhooked the front and I rolled the whole thing back to the back of the trailer so this was just an open deck here and then they loaded this stuff from the sides and when they were done tied it down like this isn't going to hold the freight and you still have to tie it down <laughs> okay it just covers it it doesn't secure it so it secured everything and then i rolled it back over tightened it up and at the back i can tighten it up so it's nice and tight it's really hard just to explain it i know but you know there's gonna be plenty of days in the future when I can show you how these things work at a place where uh, it's more appropriate. A place and time where it's more appropriate, but this is our trailer right now, what's in here. I'm gonna take this back to the yard. I better get moving. It's not gonna, it's not gonna bring itself there. And what's cool is this door here. There, it's just a door in the front of the trailer. It's like a front door to the trailer, eh?
Wait, everybody. Wait. Wait. I'm going to drag myself around the corner. It's my turn. That's how it works. It's my turn. Just because I'm big doesn't mean I don't get a fair shot. It's a stop sign. Sometimes when you come to the stop sign with a, with a big semi, people ignore the rules of whoever stops first gets to go first, and they just quickly just keep going in front of you because they don't want to wait for you. But Arbor is a nice town. They wouldn't do that here. That's more of like a Winnipeg big city thing. Everyone's in a rush in the big city. Needs a little pick-me-up. End of the week, getting a little tired. Yikes. So that's what the unit looks like. cleaning up after the last person who had it. So another friendly reminder that when you drop an empty, make sure you clean it up for the next guy. That's what you're supposed to do when you drop an empty trailer. I don't call people out, but I like to give out friendly reminders because now I'm spending about a half hour of my day here cleaning up someone's mess and I'm already supposed to be down the road with this trailer. And I can't leave because someone dropped it here and took off. So, just a friendly reminder. Please. 
clean up your trailer. Okay, so trailer's all cleaned out now. I can go if I can get out of here. Now, I got out of that tighter spot over there with that flatbed yesterday. Or was it the day before? That was yesterday, wasn't it? We got out of there, so I think we can get out of here. Super difficult to get in here today. Everybody's driving in the left lane while everybody's passing, right? Okay, I think I can. Are you gonna stay in that lane? Okay, so I'm gonna take the left lane here. Sunday off. I can still relax. 
At least I can catch up on my sleep on Sunday then and Monday we're back at it. I told you I love trucking. It's an addiction. You ask me if I want to go trucking, it's a very slim chance I'm going to say no. Unless there's a good reason. Summertime's coming though, and I got a lot of work to do on our land, so I mean, I would consider that a good reason in the summer, but <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. It depends how much overtime we're talking. I kind of like this thing they call money. It uh, has it has done good things for me. I would like some more, please. And you're telling me I can do what I love to do most, drive trucks, and I get these little paper rectangles? Sign me up. I'm not being sarcastic either. I'm joking around, but I, I'll gladly take the overtime. I, I really do love my job. Coming to take a look real quick. Looking good, looking good. This is all going to Orlando, Florida. In a few days, this will be in the land of palm trees and freedom. Wonder if there's a spot for me to hide in there somewhere. <laughs> can't do that, nope, can't do that. Have a good trip. Enjoy the weather. There we go. I'm gonna pull this back to the yard and we just gotta run out and grab that other trailer. Bring that back to the yard. We'll cash in that overtime on payday. You know, I've noticed that uh, as I'm getting older, I gotta be more and more careful how I get in and out of the trailer. <laughs> If I get out of the trailer just a little bit wrong, suddenly my back goes, hey, whoa, what are you trying to do here? All right, windows down. Oh, well, this one down, that one just partially down. Heat blowing on me, because it's not quite warm enough to actually have your windows down yet, but I want my windows down. Heat blowing, there we go. Put her in gear, let's give her. This freight needs to go to Florida. And I'm not getting in its way. Everyone deserves to go to Florida. So we'll get back there probably about six. Gotta go back in. Oh, I'll be working till like seven o'clock tonight probably. Nice. Good thing I love trucking. Look at that polar bear. Look at him go. into the leftmost lane, right? And then the right lane turns into the center lane here. 
but because I've got a trailer on, I've got to swing it wide, which makes it look like I'm going into the far right lane, but my trailer is coming into this lane. So sometimes people cut in there not realizing I'm coming back to the middle lane. But either way, it doesn't matter. I mean, if that happens, it's not a big deal. Then I just, I go to plan B and I go to the far right lane, but still, it's not very nice. It's my lane. Work till the sun went down. That's a good day's work. So we're done now. Just gonna go park the truck, get in the pickup, and head home. Like I was telling you before, we have that clinic appointment tomorrow, and then I'll be here in the afternoon. What's this guy doing? How are you doing, buddy? You see me here? You're looking for a trailer, aren't you? Aren't we all? Aren't we all? It's been a good week. A really good week. A lot of hours in this week. I'm happy with it. They told me they were busy. I believed them, but man, they're busier than I thought. that's always good. Always a good thing. 